Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Takeshi Yamamoto, Fujifilm uh, Serial Dynamics CEO and President. I'm very pleased to explain our company profile today. So let's get started. This is outline of the parent company as Fujifilm. Uh, you can see some figures in the table, in, in the figures. Uh, total revenue in the previous fiscal year was more than $20 billion in total in global. And then 5.4, so more than 25% of the revenue is coming from healthcare, revenue, healthcare business moment. And then the Fujifilm is a very eager to be a global healthcare company year to year. That's the, the, the mission of Fujifilm at the moment. Uh, I will explain also the Fujifilm cellular dynamics uh, in this slide. So the Fujifilm acquired uh, cellular dynamics uh, 2015, but, uh, but the company was founded in 2004 a spin off from the University of Wisconsin, uh, led by renowned biologist in the stem cell researcher, uh, Dr. James Thompson, established in the Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, we are global leader in the production of human induced pluripotent stem cells for the drug discovery, disease modeling, and to toxicity testing, and stem cell banking and cell therapy. We are fast to the manufacture uh, cardiomyocyte and cardiac progenitor cells as, at industrial scale and quality. And also we are fast to complete a phase one clinical trial by a partner using our IPSC derived cell therapy. So Fujifilm cell dynamics, uh, we are saying we are calling FCDI so FCDI has uh, two business units, one is their life sciences, then another one is cellular therapeutics. For, whole life, for the life sciences, we are providing um, multiple IPSC derived cells to the researchers who are working in the discovery research field. And then cell therapy, so we are also there providing uh, IPSC and the GAP grade, and those who are working on the collaborator to bring the cell therapy product to the, to the patient. So what are FCDI's expertise? Uh, yeah, you can see the whole boxes that we have, we are clarifying. Uh, why is the uh, proprietary reprogramming technology? So, using their uh, ibizomal vector, uh, which is very safety enough uh, for the cell therapy grade of IPSC uh, that we can uh, reprogram other cells into IPSC. Also the, uh, in the third point, uh, proprietary differentiation. So we have also the protocols uh, for the differentiated cells to produce GP grade differentiated cells at industrial scale. And finally, the, also we have uh, experience in the scale out and scale up manufacturing capability and the transfer of manufacturing and QC procedure from the history of our life sciences uh, manufacturing capabilities. So here I will explain a bit more detail about discovery research uh, market field. So this is our off-the-shelf IPSC drive cells that, uh, yeah, that's applicable for the drug discovery research field. So the main part of our product is one is the brain and nervous system. So astrocyte or GABA neuron, DOPA neuron, or microglia are there available of the off-the-shelf off the shelf product in, in our inventory. Uh, another big portion of the product is a cardiomyocyte. Yeah, cardiomyocyte is the one of our legacy of our ICL product, uh, utilizing in the cardiotox test or discovery research in terms of the yeah, cardiomyocyte related. 
uh, we are also offering uh, that kind of custom or shadow services into the customers. So not only selling off the shelf product, we are also offering uh, to develop uh, disease modeling or assay and also the biomarker development and also the clinical trial risk mitigation activities. So if you are interested more about such kind of collaboration, yeah, please contact to FCDI. So we are willing to discuss further. So here uh, I've explained the several therapy part. So you know, FCDI is the company about IPSC. So we are focusing on the cell therapy approach by using IPSC uh, technology platform. So we are focused on the allogenic therapy because uh, we believe yeah, there are a lot of benefit uh, yeah, we can bring to the patient. And then uh, I want to explain our business model of our therapeutics. So this is a so-called uh, licensing and CDMO capabilities. So we want to license uh, stable IPSC uh, line and or will optimize differentiated protocol to partners. And then uh, we want to work with partners to develop cell therapy product to clinical stages. Also in future, uh, we want to provide uh, commercial manufacturing capability to customers. Here, there are, there are two boxes. You can see there what are our uh, technologies and then what we can bring to customers. So we have IPSC and uh, also the cell, yeah, interesting uh, differentiated cells to be applicable for cell therapy applications. And also uh, we have a technology asset like uh, cell biology that is a deep understanding in the and organization, also scale up and uh, scale out technology, also experience about regulatory uh, aspect in the cell therapy field. So that is our business model that we are developing. Uh, yeah, then uh, next page is uh, our cell therapy pipeline at the moment. So there are four pipelines you can see from the Parkinson and uh, heart disease by using cardiac progenitor cell and uh, another heart disease by using extracellular visco. And also Ocular, we have three pipelines uh, in collaboration with Opsis, that is our sister company, and also the NVI together. Uh, then, uh, yeah, inherited retinal disease and also the late AMD and RE AMD. So we are working on that. Uh, basically, based upon our business model, we are looking for the partner who can bring uh, Parkinson or heart disease cell uh, therapy into the clinical together. So, uh, so that so I will explain a bit of detail about our pipeline. So the neurology is the Parkinson disease. Uh, Six point one million individuals are living in this disease, and then we are we are, we are using midbrain phenotype dopamine neuron progenitor cells for the cell therapy product for cure Parkinson's disease. In the cardiovascular, uh, yeah, you know, heart failure is our scope of the indication. Uh, at least 26 million people worldwide, uh, they are affected, they are affecting. Uh, so, there, so we gonna uh, utilize uh, cardi cardiac progenitor cells or cardiomyocyte yeah, for this clinical, yeah, for this uh, heart failure disease to, to cure. And then the third one is the extra cellular vesicle therapeutics. So extra cellular vesicle, uh, sometimes we say exosome or microparticles uh, released by a cell types are considered at the moment key mediators of the benefit of the cell therapy. So at FCDI, uh, we are harnessing the power of EV from IPC derived therapeutic cells for the multiple applications. Our first objective 
is to treat heart failure patient in collaboration with Professor Philip Minash, uh, who is an internationally recognized leader, leader in the stem cell therapy and his team at the Assistant Public Hospital of Paris in France. So lastly, uh, Ocular, uh, as I explained, this is a collaboration to offices uh, that is our sister company and also MEI. So currently the National Eye Institute is moving forward with the autologous iPC derived retinal pigment epithelium cell replacement therapy for dry aged related um, macular degeneration. So we are running from them to reflect into our allogenic uh, cell therapy application. So we are uh, developing authentic iPC derived cell replacement therapy for both AMD and also IRD. So for further detail, please visit to the presentation by Office Therapeutics, and then you can see more detail about this pipeline development. Yeah, so, so I will also touch about our case study uh, in the outcome of our, of our business uh, yeah, model of licensing and CDMO. So that is a Century Therapeutics. Probably everyone know about this company at the moment. So they are centrally partnered with the FCDI to license the induced pluripotent stem cells in the cell platform. And then the, their lead program now expected to file an IMD in mid of next year. And their product candidate engine uh, in the solid tumor and the hematologic uh, <coughs> malignancies. And then the, what is amazing is uh, recently they succeeded IPO with $440 million in cash by end of, yeah, at the end of June this year. So it's really exciting to us as well. Another key study is our uh, ocular program. So that also that in May, 2021, uh, Brock Therapeutics became our collaborator. So the now uh, Brock and FCDI and Opsis Therapeutics enter into the strategic R&D alliance to discover and develop cell therapies of eye diseases together. So we are really now uh, busy for developing the scale uh, app technologies for the photoreceptor cell and also the preparation in the GMP suite for the uh, manufacturing for future. So by, by doing that, also that we have prepared a uh, CGMP, CGMP facility in the March 2020, uh, so called IFACT, that is innovation facility for advanced cell therapy. So there are three GMP manufacturing suite and then uh, those suites are, are capable of being operated independently of other suites. And then by, yeah, in this facility, we are offering a GMP grade IPSC, that's, you know, GMP compliant reprogramming processes to generate clinical grade IPSCs using proprietary our non integrating plasmid technologies. And also we have already inventories, inventory from multiple donors covering common HLA types in the US. And also we have drug master file in place with the FDA. Also there, this is the process technology development, the toolbox. So we are really uh, well preparing at the moment about uh, scale up technology or scale out technology by using those kind of equipment from the early stage of the uh, yes, cell expansion and also the differentiation in the 3D culture or adherent differentiation as well. And then also that we have several ancillary processing. Uh, we, we have some experience about that. So that is our yeah, a toolbox uh, that we are offering to the potential yeah, customers. If we, if we, if we, yeah, if we want to utilize our facility, so please 
yeah, visit to FCDI. So conclusion is FCDI has a catalog of life sciences products available for research use. And also we are offering custom uh, work to, yeah, to the client. Also FCDI can offer uh, GMP IPC cell lines as a platform for cellular therapeutics project and also custom contract to manufacture master, master cell bank or working cell banks. We have so far four cellular, four cellular therapeutics programs, but our aim is to set up strategic partners to bring those pipelines into the clinical strategy, into the clinical trial. Uh, FCDI can provide third parties with contract development and GMP manufacturing services to speed the development of the cell therapy project. And also we are ready to uh, operate such kind of uh, clinical manufacturing capability in the IFACT uh, since March 2020. So thank you for your interest.